Hafre, welcome to another episode of Real Talk. We have a lot of stuff uh, to talk about today. Today's episode is going to be about musicians turned actors, actresses. Mm. But before we get into that, I know Jason is chomping at the bit right now to talk yes, about please. something that we watched together. We were able to watch Pet Cemetery, the three of us, on Saturday after we did the Jolly Bee opening. Um, Jason's first movie in like 10 years. <laughs> so we're going to talk about it. I, you know, some of us may like it, some of us may not have. Jason, you know, since you've been. Waiting to get at it. <laughs> four you know, days. We're gonna let you loose. We, we're letting you loose. Go for Thank it. Thank you. Okay, this has been a very, very long four days. As soon as the movie ended, ask these two because they were there. I leaned forward, put my head on the railing, and I was like, "What the hell, movie?" The I did not like it. I okay, and maybe consider me like a snob just because I was comparing it to the literary accuracy with the book, but they completely changed. Everything in the second half of Pet Cemetery. Um, cooler heads have prevailed in the time that's passed because I've been waiting so much to give a review. When I think about it now, the ending actually was pretty frightening. I, you know what? It was I, also stupid. It was a middle of the road type of me- movie for me. I would give it a three out of five, maybe two and a half. That's just out of out of five. Um, I didn't think it was bad. I thought a lot of it was a. Uh, was pretty well shot. I think Jason Clark, who was the it's pretty graphic. The, the main guy, he was a good actor. Can you give us your best John Ellie? Lithgow was in there, right? John Ellie. Lithgow was the okay. There, there's one thing. John Lithgow is being universally praised um, online for his performance. I loves me some John Lithgow. Third Rock from the Sun, Jacob's Ladder, Harry and the Hendersons. John Lithgow, one of my favorite actors. He did not capture anything about being a New Englander. Specifically, when Stephen King writes about people from Maine and from New Hampshire, he didn't have the accent, he didn't have the mannerisms, and that's why I thought Fred Gwynn, who was, you know, Herman Munster, from the first film in 1990, did a much better job of doing that. See, but I I really felt like it went out of that, like, bus... Bostonian type of area into more of that rural type of area, right? Yeah. Like the Where you would typically have a thicker... Yeah. uh, So, I, you know, I, I thought it was okay. I... They did take the liberties with... The way the story plays out, which is, I mean, for some people, that's a fresh change. For some people like Jason, that's, you know, who likes the source material, then it wasn't so good of a change. Asha, what did you think about Pet Cemetery? I personally liked it. I do know that I watched the first one, the original one, but I was so young when I watched it, so I couldn't really compare anything to each other. But I actually enjoyed it. Like, I like that gory stuff, so... Jeez, I'm the only one with my opinion. Big shocker. (laughs) No, so, you know, honestly, but, but like, a lot of what Jason says is true. Um, I think there are a couple pivotal scenes in the movie that really shape how the... um, the book uh, plays out, right? One scene is the truck speeding through the village. Man, that freaked me you know, out. The that outcome scene. is totally different than the original Pet Cemetery, yeah. right? Major spoilers here. If you haven't no, seen we're not, the movie we're not, yet. We're not going to spoil it, so we're going to just leave it. Oh, we are? Okay. As is. Like, we don't want to spoil this, right? No. I do, because I was... I, I saw the movie for free, and I want my money back. That's how bad I felt about it. I am really surprised. You know what, Jason? Maybe it's just because you haven't watched a movie in 10 years. Okay. But I, like, I didn't think it was that bad. And it's got... You know, and this is an interesting concept that we should probably have for another podcast is, um, you know, how true movies are to the source material. Because if you're a fan of the source material and there's an inaccuracy, you do not expect those inaccuracies, right? Like, you, you don't expect what happened in that scene to happen. You get a, you get a little bit of wig- wiggle room. You get a little bit of, of, yeah. of fudge. fudge Which is kind of different because as a movie goer I think if you know everything that's going to happen it kind of takes away from the full experience of the movie itself right and I think taking those creative liberties add a element of surprise that is needed to keep content fresh and enjoyable so well okay well one thing that I did kind of appreciate and this is about like you know you mentioned my movie sabbatical if you want to sure which by the way is severely exaggerated um Whereas movies from like the 80s and 90s, if they were slasher movies, you know, you'd have like a lot of the stringed instruments and be, there'd be a lot of build up and a lot of crescendo in here. Yik, 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 yik. And it's like, oh man, something bad's going to happen. Mm-hmm. With this one, there was a lot of silence. There was a lot of dark tones. There was a lot of minimalism. And, you know, like when the part where I saw you got scared because we were sitting right next to each other is when uh, Lewis Creed, the dad, was approaching like the, the dark uh, closet. You you were actually starting to shift in your seat like a little bit, and I was like, I was, it wasn't scary to me. One thing I do I did like was the set design. 
I thought the way they actually portrayed the whole pet cemetery and all those uh, mm. the trees and the twigs and everything that was that was superior to the 1990 film. That was really good. It's by far superior to the 1990 yeah. film. The 1990 <laughs> film, on, unfortunately, doesn't hold uh, up to. Whoa! E- it does not. You hold went up there. To, yeah, I went there. You're it going was, to go there. It, we we're going there. Wow! Like this film is beautifully shot. It looks great. Like you know, and really, I think if there's any thing that's questionable is how far it strays from the the source material and depending on how you feel about that that's going to affect the way you enjoy the movie yeah other than that like the graphics were like dope and i mean the costumes like you know and i think that's what you're talking about right that's what you're comparing to like the graphics now are way better than the graphics in the past by far right aren't you saying that the cat the cat was like 100 percent animatronic was animatronic that's amazing church the cat was was a robot cat that cat looked real Yeah. yeah like so I felt like okay. the cat. The one thing that I will say is Ellie was scary as hell. And, and that girl that played her, great job. Well done. You And her dialogue was a lot. The eye? Like the droop the droopy oh, eye? Oh man, that's yeah. She was good. She, she was, was a good, good. actress. Good. Any any other comments you guys want to make about Dead that Cemetery? Can, you, can, you, can we? Can I'm you not give us, doing no. Please, can you give us your your best Ellie? I don't have any. Asha Ellie doesn't have impersonations. I'm Dad, you just mommy know about me. Sees what you get. That's fine. Well, so that's Pet Cemetery is out. You can watch that at the Tango Theaters. But there are a couple okay. of new movies coming. Sorry, if, if I may add, as and even though my opinion is you know old fart guy, right? Um, Uncle Ken actually brought this up earlier. He's like, okay, despite how everybody feels about it, including my own opinion, did it make money? So we looked it up today when boxofficemojo.net. It's actually doubled its budget amount. So. So Whether people like it or not, a whole so good ton job, of people Jason watched Clark. it. Yeah, yeah. Good job, Jason Clark. I'm sure. He's, oh man, he's so good at. He's acting. a good actor. Twenty one million a dollar budget. Like I felt him. Yeah, and that's the, that's the U.S. domestic market too. They made a bunch of money in the U.S. off that. So you know, that's actually that's something that I thought was I liked more about this movie than I liked about the original Pet Cemetery was uh, his character, Jason Clark's character, the main, the dad. Mm-hmm. Like I, I really liked how he was. Uh, really indifferent about death you know mm-hmm. like he uh accepted it as uh you know once you die you once die once you die you die there's right? nothing and i, I as thought a physician, that yeah i thought that really added to his character especially with the build-up of what yeah. he has to go through and like, what he with has the to afterlife witness, right yeah. and then you know the the stark contrast between him and his wife who you know had a I actually don't even remember that wife's the wife's like uh, backstory in the this original is, Pet Cemetery. It wasn't as pronounced in this one. That I, I think they they overdid it like just a little bit with mm-hmm. Zelda, the sister who has yeah. like, severe spinal meningitis. You mm-hmm. you were asking, it's like what was wrong with her? I I didn't ask what was wrong with her. I didn't know what the whole point of that backstory was. In the original film, they did not have her like get stuck in in the dumb waiter. Mm-hmm. You know that, that whole that whole like elevator thing, and then come crashing down, and then you know that it, that didn't happen. Spoiler alert! Yeah. Spoiler. But um. But but that is the, the essence of Pet Cemetery, and even going back to the original book again, the whole moral of that story was Something. grief was profound sadness caused by grief, and then love, and how far are you willing to go for your loved ones? And I think it mm-hmm. it covered that pretty well I think yeah. in the most part so I guess yeah. I actually didn't not like it as much as I thought it was there you go see this guy this this is why you need a level headed uh, realization like myself to balance out the gross hyperbole that is Jason Salas so moving on guys this weekend Tango Theaters has a couple more movies com- coming out <laughs> I believe the new Hellboy comes out mm. but better yet Never is a movie this. with a local a very own Guam person in it, Pia Mia Stars in she's a supporting actress in this movie called After, which is based on the Anna Todd book series. It's kind of like I won't say it's like the Twilight book series, but it's a young book series. It's a um, teen drama. It's a teen kind of like I'm gonna thriller look how many slash followers Pia Mia has. Uh, love story. She's not the main character, but she plays a lesbian at um, this high school. Tia Mia, oh Tia Mia, Pia Mia's first big uh, acting role. Five point three million followers on Instagram. She has. She's Damn. killing it, man. Mm-hmm. She's killing it. Pia Mia, you're killing the game. Mm. She definitely is. So, uh, I mean, you know, this Guam movie girl. comes out this weekend. You want to see Pia Mia and all her goodness? Where was she? How old is Pia Mia now? 22? Check, Jason. Um, so quick with your phone over there. So, uh, you know, and we have tickets to give away to watch the Pia right. Mia uh, movie as well. All you have to do is comment on our Facebook feed 
of this uh, on this video, um, linking one of Pia Mia's songs, the one that you like best. Just put in the comments. We'll pick one comment, or we pick one winner at random, maybe two. Give away a couple pairs of tickets ah. to watch after this weekend. So since you asked, uh, Wikipedia, Pia, Pia Mia's got her own Wikipedia page, her own article on Wikipedia. She is 22 years old, and now she has a film credit. Awesome. Nice. And she's probably going to have a That's Screen Actors dope. Guild card. Yeah, awesome. good for her. She's got her own SAG card. You know, you know what's very interesting? I, I, was, I was reading a review online about this, or an interview online about this movie and Pia Mia's role in it. And uh, uh, Pia Mia's character is a, a lesbian. Um, but uh, so the, the interviewer was asking her, like, how did, do you feel the pressure since you have a big LGBTQ like, uh, fan base? Do you feel the pressure to do the role justice? And she said, not really, because it doesn't really change, like, how she's going to play the part. Like, the sexual preference of the character has no bearing on the role, right? She's not going to be, like, a different person. She's not, like, all of a sudden doing, like, different activities in the movie. She's, it, the character is just a female instead mm-hmm. of a male, right? Mm-hmm. Um, the love interest is the same, and, and what, what she does is the same. So I was like, oh, I was like, oh that's, a, that's pretty smart. Pretty, uh... You know, I, I really like mature answer. kind of thought there, and you know, she didn't really uh, get too narrow-minded on the mm-hmm. focus of how she's how how she's going to do that role justice. She just accepted as what as what it is, which is kind of cool. And also, Ash, you've known about this movie for like. A, f- a couple weeks, right? When, when we saw the trailer this morning, you're like, oh, I've, I've seen this before. I've seen it somewhere, but I didn't know that she was in it because mm. I just saw like the beginning of the preview and that was it. And, like, okay. I didn't watch it. That was cool. I mean, I, in I terms wish of we category, saw what it, it, It's a suspense, trailer. right? It looks you know, like. It's kind of like. I, yeah, I, I, I it looks think like the like guy is like Twilight. crazy or something. I think it's going to be like Twilight. Like, you know, like it's not going to be magical or whatever, but it's going to be <laughs> like that teen, angsty relationship. No sparkling vampires. Or? No sparkling vampires. Yeah. Another guy. What is the guy's name? Who is? I don't even know. Who is Hunter something? I don't even know. Who? No, in the movie they they keep like saying is who who is this guy right? Oh, I don't know his name. <laughs> anyway, so if you want to win tickets to the Pia 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 Mia movie after, <laughs> uh, make sure you comment on our Facebook page linking us your favorite Pia Mia song. We will pick a couple winners at random, and guess what, guys? We have winners for our. Uh, Avengers Endgame premiere party. Finally. Um, remember, if you want to win tickets for Avengers Endgame, all you have to do is answer our question on our podcast, the Kevin mm-hmm. uh, Six Degrees of Kevin Bacon mm-hmm. uh, question. Uh, uh, he had to link Kevin Bacon to Blake Lively. So he put Blake Lively was in Green Lantern with Ryan Reynolds, and Ryan Reynolds was with Kevin Bacon in Rest in Peace Department. That is correct. Good one. Tristan, so you are going to get a couple free tickets. Uh, we should be emailing you. He emailed that answer, which mm-hmm. is kind of cool. And uh, Tennis Richie, uh, when we did the Lupita Nyong'o episode, uh, she put Lupita Nyong'o was in Black Panther. Uh, Stan Lee was in Black Panther in X-Men First Class. And then Kevin Bacon mm-hmm. was in X-Men First Class. That was actually... Didn't you have that I, I answer made that. before? You did something with the Stan Or maybe Lee Marie. Link. I'm, not, I'm not sure, but... Uh, that, that was, is the uh, easiest way to, to connect everybody, just say Stan Lee's cameo. But hey, you guys did it, so you guys should be hearing from us soon. We are giving you two tickets each to the premiere of Avengers Endgame, which takes place on April 26th at the Tango Theaters. We are have, we'll be shooting a podcast episode live on location there. Oh, yeah. But we have more and more tickets and free stuff to give away. So if you want to win more tickets to Avengers Endgame, just answer this question, which is how can you link Jason Clark, the star of Pet Cemetery? to Kevin Bacon, right? So just let us know in the comments, email us, uh, mm. put in the messages. There are ways. Jason Clark's in a lot of movies, man. Hmm. He also in, uh, plays like a, like a real mopey guy, right? Like something's always... No, he also played John Connor in... Um, he was in Planet of the Apes, the latest Planet of the, of the Apes, and he was in the latest Terminator. He played an older John Connor. Terminator Genesis? I believe that's what's... Oh, that's the one with... Um... Not Salvation, the one after Salvation. Oh, Genesis. Okay. You're probably right. Yeah. Genesis. With Christian Bale. So, guys... That was the intro. That was just the stuff we had to take care of. Ooh. Now we are getting on to the actual content of today's show, which is music- musicians turned actors and actresses. We're talking about Pia Mia, you know, a, a, a good up-and-coming musician from Guam who now has an acting career to add to her chops and her resume. Mm-hmm. Uh, and now we're going to talk about the best musicians who ended up having better careers as actors or actresses or worse careers. 
I'd like to throw. I got one. Oh, shoot. Ladies oh, first. Awesome. Let's go. Okay. Wow, right off the <laughs> bat. <laughs> Marky Mark. Yep. You know, he this is obviously my, my favorite pick, right? <laughs> Mark Wahlberg. <laughs> he started off, what, rapping? Yeah, Marky That's Mark is right? a funky bunch. Definitely well, a Calvin way Klein better. Model, and then you, well, no, I, th- I think he Actor. did. Wait, uh, what did he have? He did. He did some modeling. But did he do feel the vibe or good vibrations? And then he did Calvin Klein underwear modeling. Or? I don't know which one he did first. I think he did uh, underwear modeling first, and then he became. And this was always Donnie's little brother from I New know, Kids on the Block. Crazy. Mark Wahlberg, man. He's a phenomenal. But what actor. a story career! What was his first movie? Was it Fear? It was Is that Fear. the one with um? Reese Witherspoon. Yeah. yeah. Man, he's like the crap out of me. Remember, like, they're looking through, like, the people. It's like, do, 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 do. So let me in the house! <laughs> <laughs> and, oh, man, it's, a, it's a scary scene. I like that movie. That was If, if you see that on YouTube, scene. if you look it up right now, the clip is only, like, three seconds long. That's, that's the all movie that made me never want to have a boyfriend in high school. <laughs> wow. <laughs> that, I'm, I'm pretty sure that, well, that's also the movie that made, like, many people want to, like, ride a roller coaster, but that... That's a completely different story. Jesus. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Um, what do you got, Jason? Mark Wahlberg. Well, he also was very good in Renaissance Man, the one with Danny DeVito and uh, Gregory Hines when they were army recruits. And remember, they, they were called like the double, mm. the double D's, mm. dumb as dog Man. stuff. No, that was uh, that was Danny DeVito. Oh wait, yeah, Renaissance Man. Because Danny DeVito was that washed out ad executive who the only job he can get is he winds up teaching um, at an army base. And he te- ironically, he teaches them Hamlet. And he, he's got it's Mark Wahlberg, it's um, Kadeem Hardison from Different World. Uh, it's a, a bunch of people who actually went on to pretty good uh, acting careers. And he teaches them Hamlet. And a bunch of people who, you know, just don't have the mental wherewithal wind up discovering life through Shakespeare. You know, we talk about Mark Wahlberg a lot on this podcast, being that he's one of America's greatest actors. So we'll skip. But uh, let's go ahead and <laughs> just ignore all the his Transformers Departed, work. All the Transformers movies, which are trash. Boogie Nights, of course. Of course. And of course, Four Brothers, right? Which is one of our favorite movies on the po- uh, on this podcast. So yeah, I would say that he transitioned pretty well. He's a much better actor than he was a rapper, that's for sure. He only had that one. I mean, yeah, he only had that. Uh, technically, he had a follow-up single which bombed, but then you know, I mean, he had, he had a. Hey, CD you know, up. to be fair, he picks the right roles, right? Like, I guess he is pretty typecast, right? He plays a Boston cop multiple times, but he, he plays a so dude good. from Southie. Like, well, that's because he's from Boston, yeah. right? It's like, hey, man, play a tomorrow guy. It's like, okay, well, I'm gonna and honestly, I think my that. my my favorite performance of his is probably in the Perfect Storm because he, he was good in that. There you go. He's got a bunch of movies. All right, moving on. Any other picks, Chase? What, what do you got? Courtney Love. Courtney Love, for a long time, only had one movie to to her credit, which was notable. I mean, you know, like once once you do well, but uh, she was in the Milos Forman film, um, The People Against Larry Flint, and she played um, Althea Flint, uh, Larry Flint's soon-to-be, well, you know, spoiler, you know, she did pass away from HIV, but man, she was good in that film. Does Courtney Love do they have any other films? Okay, what Courtney Love, she's the lead singer of She was Hole? in the OJ movie, right? Was she the lead singer in Hole? Of Hole, yeah. So do you think she was a better musician or a better actress? Okay, probably How many songs mo- more, Hole have? more well known as Kurt Cobain's wife at, at that point. And then when she became an actress, she really like, you know, broke out and made new ground for herself. But Did um, she? Because remember, I mean she she couldn't do like any any more music with Hole because she ha- she gave birth to their son. Oh. Son or daughter, Francis, Francis Bean Cobain. I forgot. Uh, to, I should know this. Um, she had a couple good songs. Hole was all right. Do you remember Hole, Ash? Nope. That was me in college. I like that. What's their one, the main, like the first song they had? Doll Parts? No. Or. Man, anyway, whatever. We're Come moving on. on, take everything. That one. Oh, um. It's not Amethyst. It's, uh, it's the name of... Anyway, it's the Jason passed the, the test. He can't remember a whole... Uh, it's the name uh, of a He can't remember a whole song, which is it. That's a good thing. Right. We're moving on. Uh, how about Will Smith? The what Fresh is, Prince. The Fresh Prince and Jazzy, DJ Jazzy Jeff, right? That was... What did he... He was a rapper. He was a rapper? The Summertime song, right? Well, he even did one before that. He did um, Parents Just Don't Understand was his first. That came out when I was in the eighth grade. And which which was comedy rap, you know. He even, he even says, you know, when he he went head to head basically um, 
through the media with another rapper turned actor, Eminem, who I don't know if we'll mention at some point because he's only got one movie. But he says, you know, I don't, I don't curse on my music. I don't talk about, you know, degrading women to my music. You know, I don't talk about drugs and everything like that. I mean, he's a clean straight edge guy that just wants to make people happy and make people laugh. Will Smith did not go head to head with Eminem. What are you talking about? He did about? in the MTV Awards because M- because Eminem came out and said, you know, like, oh, you're, you're soft like Will Smith and you're not like a true rapper. And then, and then Will Smith basically, he clapped back and he, he goes, hey, I don't talk about any bad stuff about that. Clap. clapped back. Bro, Will Smith was rapping in 1988. Eminem came out in like 96 or 97 or something. Ten yeah. years later. No. I want to see this video. Will Smith had, remember, he came out, he did Wild Wild West. After he had movies. And, right? and when he had, a, what, when, he had J- when, when Jaden Smith was born, then he had that one. Um, so uh, after he became an actor? <laughs> Is that what you're telling me? Like when he came yeah. out with songs after he became an yeah. actor? Yeah. okay, well. He, he's probably the biggest star on this list, right? Well, mega star. Yeah, he's the mega star, right? Dude. He is mega. Obviously, Will Smith, Will Smith. Is, better, is a better Will actor than he was a rapper. Mm-hmm. Unless you really, really like the Men in Black song. Then I mean you're because okay. you've also got guys like Ice no, T. Man, you've got Bruce actor. Willis, who Bruce Willis was a was a musician before he became an actor. I love Bruce Willis. Yeah. And, oh, okay, who 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 would you say was more of a superstar, a mega star, a blockbuster star? Uh, Will Smith or Bruce Bruce Willis at at their apex? I think Bruce. I, know, I guess Bruce. Okay. I don't want to get it, man. I think Bruce. What's what's Will Smith's best? Die. Okay, no, you take Armageddon though. and you put that up against Independence Day. With Will Smith, that's that's tough. No Will, way. Oh, dude, Armageddon killed. Come on, Armageddon, Armageddon a love story, killed. Kills Independence Day. Are you really? Crazy? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Are you crazy? Independence on, Day. Independence Day, man. Let me... <laughs> Jeez, dude, what is going on, man? We didn't even plan this. Dude. Really? Oh my god. Yeah. We well, don't plan I mean, any of this. Will Smith has a bunch of killed it. Day was uh, what's his name? Jeff Go- Goldblum. Jeff Goldblum yeah, was there. Yeah, yeah. Always it was a was good movie, thing. but Armageddon. No, that was no Armageddon Independence Day. Independence Day was man. the Sorry. summer. Nobody block remembers block. a song from Independence Day, do they? Because exactly. there are no songs. Exactly. But the, no. <laughs> <laughs> That you have Aerosmith doing you know, that. That's yeah, completely illogical, and yet she makes perfect sense. I'm sorry. N- nicely done. I man, yeah. Well, uh, well, Will Smith does have good movies, right? No, he does. I Robot. That's a good one, right? Yeah. I Robot's a good movie. That's a good one. I, oh. There's I Am Legend. I Am Legend was good. I did, thought I Am Legend was good. He played Muhammad Ali. Yeah. <laughs> For him to be he acting by Ali. himself he in that whole Pursuit movie. of Happiness. Pursuit of Happiness. That was a good movie. Yeah. That's a good one. Uh, the, okay, a sports movie that I like and nobody else likes, even sports or otherwise, The Legend of Bagger Vance. Legend Bands. of Bagger Vance. I hey, thought it was a good, good movie. That's you a, like hey, that one? You know what? That's I didn't watch movie. that. He outshone Matt Damon in that Let's, movie. You know what? I think Will Smith has better acting range than Bruce Willis. But he's not a bigger actor than Bruce Willis. Because, okay, so I'm, I'm going to use one of your favorite movies against you on this. Um, mm-hmm. Bruce Willis... One of his few non-action roles is one of your favorite movies. What, Six Sense? The Six Sense. He wasn't, you know, yippee ki MF in, in that one and, you know, doing John McClane. Okay, yeah. And he, and he was good. I mean, but, was, I'm pretty sure the could, story was a lot stronger than the acting. So, so you think, film, wait, so. wait, did you say Bruce Willis has more range than Will Smith? No, Will Smith has more range. Will Smith has Will more range, has more range, range. Yeah. Yes, he does. Yeah. I agree. But, but, hey, Bruce Willis, man, man, he made bangers. Bruce Willis made bangers, dude. He's Six Bruce cents. Willis. Okay. Unbreakable. That how unbreakable do you? Follow. How do you? Got, where do you guys stand out there? Please vote and, and let us know on the whole Independence Day versus die hard. Armageddon. The ten all diehards. The die- <laughs> like, <laughs> all the diehards. Die hard. All the things. All right, Wait, but you know, hey, Will Smith. I'm gonna. You know, he he has transitioned to an actor, a good actor. Yeah, no, I would say he's definitely. a great actor. Will Smith is a great actor. Yeah. He started out doing comedy, and he's he's. Yeah, actually, he did a Fresh Prince of Bel Air, right? We moved on to some real stuff, and he's going to be. What. In an upcoming role, what the genie? Oh, oh Aladdin! Shoot, man. that's yeah, right. Yeah, being Aladdin. How do you guys feel about that? See, that's crazy. Oh, you know, you made it mega cool. big when they're like, "Yo, Twitter has varying opinions on that," but Twitter always does. Yeah, we'll see. Everyone's gonna have an opinion on anything. So, all right, okay. Like Independence Day. I got one. I got man, man. Which but one? But Armageddon's still better. Uh, should I go with the small pick or the big pick? Small pick, big pick. We'll go small pick. Lady Gaga, right? Oh, oh, watch out if you're sitting next yes. to this one and you say Lady Star Gaga is a small It's only one movie, though, right? I know, but she freaking killed it. She did. But also, she was in American Horror Story. Not Fair a movie, she was but... In that show, and she was yeah. good You know, it was a long... Yeah, it's a long show. And she was great in it. So. I think she's gonna be good. I don't know. I, Maybe I we're gonna see a little. She, awesome. she's, I don't know if she's gonna be like a megastar. I she mean, she already is yet. a megastar. But 
Like, I don't know if she's going to hit the peak as a movie star yet. Although, we'll see. Star is Born is pretty good. Because to be able to do... Put a fuller for her. Have you guys seen her in American Horror Story? Yeah. Because the star is born is just singing, so... But she was and loving that's a, guy. a very very loving, <laughs> yeah. singing and loving a guy. Loving a it's a guy. very so. dramatic role, which which is hard to do because you know it's very very sad. I know, but I love. feel like her whole life was dramatic, like going to be this singer and everybody not taking her seriously, and mm. so okay. it was kind of like. So maybe I mean yeah, you know maybe though she was fit for that role. Already, she was you fit know? for the yeah. role. She plays a small town girl. Okay, that. how about another mega star, a diva? Who got into movies and that's yeah, okay. and no I, I no one had the reaction that everybody everybody's so okay, in love who, with Gaga, Mariah Carey. Yeah. She made glitter. Man, and that I'm was, sorry, uh, I just uh, don't I care for pass, Mariah man. Carey. See, no, Mariah, the, I love you, Mariah, but we're gonna pass. People just that's flushed the toilet on them. That's uh, my point entirely. I don't like that high pitch. People did not. Voice. What you didn't like her at all? Passing on Mariah Carey. I'm sorry, Uncle Ken. Glitter. Sorry, Mariah. We're out. Jason like that would like glitter. It's not shining enough for us, guys. Glitter, it's done. Glitter shine. Yeah. No. Wow. Yeah. Okay, we'll wait like a second. How about the we'll Diva of Divas? Oh, Cher. 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 Oh. Okay. Oh, I have Cher. I have Cher on my Mask. list. Whoa, hey. Cher Ma- was in Mask. Cher was in Mask. She was the mom, right? She yes. was the mom. She was oh, in um, that Dennis one with Christina Aguilera. Mermaids. No, Mermaids. not Mermaids. Mulan Rouge? No. What the hell is wait, that movie? What was it, Mermaids? Mulan Rouge. What's Mermaids? No, no, no. Wait. Wait, no, I'm so sorry. Was, was it? Is that the Rouge, name right? of the movie? Moulin Rouge. Right? No, you're, thi- no, you're, thinking, not, you're thinking of JoJo. <laughs> What's that movie with JoJo in it? No, I think about? that is the name of hey, the movie. Hey, JoJo, Mar- JoJo, no, JoJo was a musician. One of your favorites. JoJo was a musician she was who got mermaid. acting. I didn't even think about that one. I don't know what Mermaids is, though. Really? Wait, Sounds like a Jason yeah. movie. She was in Mermaids, yeah. yeah. Hey, Cher is killing. Moonstruck. Cher's all, Cher's pretty Cher was in Moonstruck, which is one of Marie, the boss. Cher is beautiful. Favorite. Cher is beautiful. Okay, but when Uncle Ken said the diva of all divas, and then you said Cher, I was just like, oh, Madonna. Oh, no, Cher. No. Madonna. 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 There's a good she's one. good, not as good as Wait, Cher. Wait, so is Cher as, as, as good an Sorry. actress as she is a uh, musician? Madonna? Cher. Mm. Before we move on. Like one through five, what would you say? Assuming that Will Smith is a five, I feel like Cher's a really good actress. She I was like a really her. good actress. She was a mega star as a even, so let's even as she four. got older, and you know they had to use. That's it. hard. <laughs> they had to put like the auto tune on it because you know I don't know if she couldn't care. <laughs> even with that clothes on, you know what? Okay, she's still a good actress. Hang on a sec. Okay, Google, how old is Cher? Seventy-two, seventy-four. Cher's got to be. <laughs> okay, while, while Jason figures that out, um, Madonna, we're talking about Madonna. Madonna had a pretty storied acting career, but I, I think to she's be a honest, better singer. I don't think she's a, as good an actress as she is a singer. Yeah. Or, Cher is 72 years old. Holy wow. cow, Cher is 72 Cher years is old? my parents' age. Bro, <laughs> oh. <laughs> Cher's old. Cher is amazing looking. Oh, sorry, I'm right? yeah. Yeah. great. Just shut up. <laughs> But uh, Madonna. <laughs> I, I was like, "Damn, she is a old old. She's sorry, sorry, Uncle Kim. Older than me, but uh, that old." Uh, yeah. Again, Uncle from the last episode. Uh, Uncle Kim it's was okay. born in I'm 19. Be, blah, 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 blah. I'll be 72 in no time. So Madonna, yeah, Madonna had some good movies. Madonna, uh, who's that girl? She was great as Breathless Mahoney in Dick Tracy. Dick Tracy. Oh, yeah. Which was not a Dick good Tracy. movie. But, hey, but she was all right in that movie. And she also... Okay. What's the movie where uh, Basic League of Instinct came out and then like they were like trying to make a... Body of Evidence. Body of Evidence. She was... Oh, man. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Madonna's a pass. I'll, I'll give Madonna... She a, was really the Vita. A Vita. I'll give Madonna a three. Never mind. Okay. And, and, my, I'm going to give her a three. Typically, because Madonna is Madonna, right? She is... From my generation, she was like... The Elvis Presley, who, by the way, was an actor, sure, musician yeah. turned actor, too. Madonna was the female Elvis because in every movie in which she appeared, she always did at least one song. Like, remember when she was in League of Their Own? She did the song that played at the end credits, This Used to Be My Playground. Haunting song. But, man, she was good in that. Oh, yeah. All awesome. the Way May. I like that song. Yeah. But she didn't do a song in Body of Evidence, did she? You're talking about Madonna here? Or yeah. She, she did Madonna. She did some screaming in Body of Evidence, but that was completely for a different reason entirely. Sure. Um, All right, move on. Wait, wait, we got a lot of things on And then, and then of course, in Evita. Yeah. Don't cry for me, Argentina. The truth is I never left you. 
There you go, man. Yeah, Evita Pro. Thank you. Okay, how about Justin Timberlake? Okay, Justin people, Timberlake people, that can, people that can sing, unlike myself. Do you, do you think Justin Timberlake is a better actor than a musician? No, no, but I do believe that JT is a really good actor. Yeah. I have to agree with you on this. You guys one. ever watch Alpha Dog? Oh, he Alpha Dog's a true story yeah. about the yeah. they kidnap a, a kid and you know they were just going to hold him for ransom because his family is a what, drug mm-hmm. uh, yeah. family. But was then, he in Looper or like something who? like that? Like Justin Timberlake? No, was like, Justin Timberlake is not. A, no, I, not I, I, that I know. He wasn't like one of the main characters. But okay, first film was Social Network. No, first one was Alpha Dog, and then Social Network. That was his first film. Yeah. Okay, but. uh and it's Social Network. Uh, he did he Social played, Network. Uh, then he played Sean, Sean Parker. Parker, yeah. Uh, the, Napster, form, yeah. the former guy from, like, Napster. Total, total um, disreputable human being at that point. You know, he's, he's cleaned up his, um, his reputation considerably since then. But uh, Justin Timberlake was good. Yeah. I mean, uh, granted. He's in a movie with okay. uh, Mila Kunis. Technically, Justin Timberlake was an actor turned musician turned actor because he started out with the Mickey Mouse Club. So he's sure, ha- sure, he's sure. had yeah, yeah. you know musical and and dance and acting training. So actually, that's very true. All those kids that were in there. Yeah, even Ryan Gosling. Ryan Gosling, Christina Aguilera. Someone will t- someone who had a relationship. Ariana Grande, with- right? No. Yeah. Well, Br- okay. Ariana Grande. Okay. Well, well, we all we all okay. We all agree. Go team on Justin Timberlake being awesome. Oh no, Ariana Grande was an actress before she was a singer. Oh yeah, she was in the Ariana Grande was in that yeah. TV show. Yeah, switch though. Anyway, okay, yeah. but eh, okay, not really much. About How about Ariana someone Grande who's probably that. got the exact opposite um, acting chops? Most people believe Britney Spears. Nah, man, she's a one. Crossroads was not a good movie. I'm sorry, I don't Bad even actress. consider her as an actress. Yeah, she's not an actress. Her sister's a better actress than her, and she's not even that. Oh, good. Jamie Lynn Spears. Jamie Lynn Spears really? in the movies. Well, TV shows. When she was a kid. Brittany. Better actress than her sister, though, that's singer. for sure. Sorry. Better singer than you were an actress. Sorry, Brittany. That's not a... I'm not knocking you. You're a great singer. Man, Brittany Spears was the... When I was a little girl. Wait, isn't... It, it's not Crossroads. What, um... It is it called Crossroads. Crossroads? Okay. All right. I got anyway. Let's move on. All right, Asha, what do you got? Ooh, let's see. Should I start with... No, I'm gonna go with Ice Cube. Ice Cube, Ooh, good one. And he's a director too, so he's yeah. started a bunch of movies. I did not even know that he was a singer before. I didn't. I just thought and, he was from the and whole thus the youngest of us Law and Order now, series. The age that's the one. first time I've seen him in my life. Okay, that's Ice T, by the way. Yeah, that's Ice T. <laughs> Oh my god! Woo! And we're not fixing this in editing. This is coming out as it is, baby. <laughs> okay. Ice Cube's the other black guy that but, raps. But but you but oh you're right. That, that is Ice T. Hey, Ice T's in the movie too. Okay. He's a rapper too. So you're <laughs> right. Well, this, you know, you're people right. have you're Ice, ice man. The, the guy, right. the guy who's married to Coco. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So but I'm I, thinking about Ice T then. But Ice Cube, since you okay, well, talking about Ice T. Ice T was in a movie <laughs> that we <laughs> really enjoyed. Oh my gosh, what Surviving the Game. Surviving. Surviving the Game was crazy. That was a wild movie. Wait, what movie is that? Where he's he's it's this homeless based guy on the, on the most street. Dangerous game. The, mm, the I book. didn't see that one. Which one? Most dangerous game. Most dangerous. Damn, yeah. what a fail! Oh, okay. You know where they hunt the humans. Right? It's kind of. Would, would you say that's kind of like the Hunger Games? No. I'm saying it's nothing like the Hunger really? Games. But yeah, no, it's not like the Hunger, Hunger Games. Okay. Because the Hunger Games is a battle royale. It's okay, like and, and, it, and if you put value in the fact that Ice-T is a real-life pimp, he's got that going for him, too. <laughs> what? You never watch those, those, um, those HBO documentaries? No. He's part of the pimp community. What? Or at least he was, you know. Anyway, Ice T, he's all right. He's on Law and Order, right? Okay. So yeah. I mean, hey, and, no, and he is. You know, that show's been around for a while. He's so, a very you know, good actor. He is, yeah. He's and okay. he, you know, and he was in New Jack City. Sure. And he was good in that. Okay. So okay, but cubes, now though. Ice Cube. So now Ice Cube. <laughs> Ice Cube is, you know, he's three times the actor. That's true. Ice Cube. Ice T. <laughs> Ice Cube. Ice Cube. Ice Cube. Oh, man. Three times? Oh, oh wow. Yeah, power yeah, yeah, I math. felt like that was a Jason joke. He should have gotten that. I know. That. I thought you would get that. The math whiz math. over here. Yeah, yeah math that. tutor. It's not, not three times right now. My SAT yeah. score is not the craziest. But <laughs> Ice Cube, man, he did. He was in Boys in the Hood. First film. Then he, he wrote. He, he co-wrote wrote Friday. Yeah, Friday. Yeah. Barbershop. Barbershop. Yeah. A bunch of other... Did, did, he, did he, he write did, and direct Barbershop too? Are we there yet? Right? That's his there. Are we there yet? Uh, yeah, that one's funny. Yeah, I mean, like, dude, 
Wait, there, there was Are We There Yet? And then, then there was one right after it was all, Are We Done Yet? Right. When they built the house. I like Some Ice Cube. I, I like, like Ice Cube. I like his movies. I think he has real. really broadened his range. I mean, he, he was in Ghost of Mars. He's in a lot of stuff. Uh, wait, he was in Three Kings with Mark Wahlberg. Mark Wahlberg. Cool. And I mean, George Clooney, who is not a three. who is not a musician, three. as far I think as we know. I actually, well, you know, now it's so difficult to say. Like, do you? What is better, his music when he was a solo artist, or with NWA, or his music definitely his, his be, movies because it was so. I mean, okay, he's never won any major awards for his acting. He's done a lot. He's again, he's broadened his range. He's, sure, that's what you mean. Uh, he makes good comedies, but what he did as a member of NWA and as a writer and as a hip hop artist, he changed the world. And the, the okay. NWA did exactly what they said they wanted to do is they shook up society. All right. I got a I got a combo here. Oh boy. Two guys a combo? share a, a movie. And they started the same way. The Ludacris and Tyrese. <laughs> both of them in the Fast and Furious series. Both of them rappers. Tyrese even in our one of our favorite films Four Brothers. What else and, has Tyrese uh, been? Big, What's the movie? Ma- Baby Boy. Baby Boy. <laughs> Baby Boy. Tyrese, man, he's a good actor, right? Am I, am I reaching? Well, no. Hey, Tyrese is a better actor than he was not a mu- than he was a musician. That is for sure. I didn't know Tyrese. Because well, Tyrese's music is, is garbage. Right? Okay. Ludacris, way better musician than sure. Tyrese. And Tyrese. Way better musician than he is an actor, to be fair. So. Ludacris also has that voice. He's got that extremely, you know, bass voice. For, and you never see that coming out of, like, of the little body of... What's his real name? Chris, uh... Bro, I don't know. I forgot what his real name is. Luda. Luda. Luda you know? and Chris. Luda. He's, that's funny. That's how... That's, I guess that's how he came And he was the, the IT movie. guy. And, no, and, and he just wasn't in uh, Fast and the Furious. He was, he was the tech guy. He was the problem solver. Yeah, yeah. All right, okay, and he we'll basically took the, he took the place of Ja Rule in the first Ja the first Rule. <laughs> oh, how about ja Rule cool technically thing? okay was Ja Rule's acting better in Fast and the Furious when he was trying to play like you know a a car yes. enthusiast or was he trying to play a savvy investor and business mogul in Fire Festival? Well, he wasn't playing that. I mean, that's he should he have been playing that. He tried to be right. So well, the other guy was the other guy played a whole bunch of people. Sure. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Billy McFarlane played a whole bunch of people. That yeah. guy's crazy. All right. Who else, guys? Any last ones? Queen Latifah? Did we talk about Queen Latifah? Did we do? Ma- we did Mandy Moore. Right? Oh, we didn't do no, Mandy, Mandy Moore. Moore. Good one. Uh, who's on our, NBC, our show on NBC? This is us. Uh huh. She plays the uh, wife of mom. mom of um, what's her Milo Milo Ventimiglia? That's the husband. The guy, yeah. I, the I cute can't guy. handle things like from more than four us, syllables. Right? I'm sorry. Uh, and she did Walk to Remember. She did 47 Meters Down. She was I good think, in Walk to Remember. I think she's a better actress she's than a, she is singer. Yeah, she had a nice voice. She was. I, I actually think she's a great singer, but... I think she's a better she's actress. She's a really good actress, I would think. Yeah. Uh, she was in... Yeah. 47 Meters Down, you liked. And I feel like she's okay. really gotten better at acting compared to her yeah. first few movies. Yeah. I what like was her, her first She's show? a child star. So, again, just someone who was trained from a very early age to was probably... Was she a child star, or was she, like... Well, she was young when she hit it. She was, a teen pop, she was a teen pop yeah. idol, but you know, she never reached the, the level of a Britney or a Christina or even maybe, like, a... Well, she didn't, make, she didn't become a diva. Yeah. Right? She didn't make the ultimate, penultimate pinnacle of female musician artistry, yeah. right? Yeah. But she got pretty close. Uh, she won a Grammy. Selena Gomez is also. Sel- Wait, how many? No, Gomez Selena Gomez was a child now. star. She was like in like Selena a lot Gomez of Gomez movies, though. You don't? Nah. Even the fundamentals of caring. I, I like that nah. one on Netflix nah. with. Um, she was an actress Rudd. before she was a singer. Yeah, though, that's so. true. Yeah, okay, well, I've, I've got one for you, and yeah. because you guys threw out some uh, some hip hop ones, so you had. You had Ice T and then Ice Cube, even though you meant Ice Cube. Ice Cube, and then it okay. was really Ice T. <laughs> One of my favorites is somebody I've mentioned more than a few times on this podcast, Queen Latifah. Huh. Oh, damn. She was totally nominated for her. Best Supporting Actress when she was in Chicago because she played Big Mama. She's um, a great actress. She is. I love her. Set It Off. She was in Set It Off. Yep, Set It Off. We really enjoyed that. Set It Off, right? 
She was in uh, that movie with Denzel Washington, the um, the Bone Collector. Is that what it's called? Yeah. Oh, that's yeah, right. She, she was the, she was uh, his day nurse. Uh, yeah. Yeah. And sadly, she got killed by. Yeah. Spoilers. But yeah. What else? The movie's twenty two years old. Go see it already. <laughs> All right, cool. I think, man, guys, that's we talked about. Did we say J Lo? Well, we, we didn't even say J Lo or Jennifer Hudson, but let's just go okay. J Lo. Wait, who's okay? Who's who's better? I, and sorry to have lumped these together, but you have someone like Jennifer Lopez, who even technically before she got into music and then got into mm-hmm. acting, she was a dancer. She was a dancer on *In Living Color*. Yeah. Um, she already she already did acting right before she really. Her movies are not music. good. What, what's been Jennifer Jennifer Lopez's best movie? I like some of them. The one when she was uh, the wedding planner. Nah. Enough was horrible. The cell. Well, oh no, I'm sorry, uh, Selena. 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 Duh. Duh. And Money Train. That's right. Ah, it's a reach. She's a better singer. Yeah. Okay. She is a better singer. I mean. Well, okay. Now, now contrast it with like LL Cool J, who has been. Who has been very successful in in both? Oh, Kuji is obviously a better rapper than he was a yeah. musician. No, but I mean, he, he's now been on TV for quite a while. Has he? I mean, he really gets just those really CSI lame supporting roles that really aren't fleshed out well. <laughs> like he was the chef, the comic relief on Deep Blue Sea. He was he was Hulk and Black Eye in H two O Halloween Twenty. Yeah, he was Jamie Lee Curtis. He was in SWAT. He was all right in SWAT. Yes. But and he he actually he sang the uh, he sang the SWAT you know, theme from the 1970s. Anyway, you know, you know who I think uh, is one of the best rapper uh. turned actors is actually Fifty Cent. Because Fifty Cent was an Escape Plan, which yeah, to be fair, is a crappy movie. But he Curtis Jackson, like Twelve, the, the movie Twelve, where he played a drug addict and he lost a ton of weight to play the movie. And he's in Fifty Cent. Oh yeah. yeah, he's a you know he's in good shape. Did I you guys like uh, Get Richard Dead? Den of Thieves. I don't really like Get Richard Dead, but. Uh, I can't really remember it. He was in Den of Thieves, the mm-hmm. action movie with uh, Pablo what? Shriver. Yeah. yeah. Super good. Like that movie. Okay. I totally forgot about him. Here's here's someone who probably definitely has a way better acting career than his music career, but his music career is kind of like taking off Jared Leto. Oh, I was going to say him. Oh, were you? Okay. That's the first one Man, on my I list. I'm surprised that we have so many people on that list. You didn't throw that one out. Jared Leto? Well, because Jer- I was waiting. Jared Leto does, does have seconds to Mars. Is that and he didn't yeah. he win like some award for acting already or no? Yeah, yeah, he won best best supporting, best supporting actor for yeah. Dallas Buyers Club, yeah. where he played the. Uh, and Batman. how? Where George do you? Batman. Okay, there's a, there's a lot being said right now as far as people who have played the Joker. He's the worst Joker. We haven't even seen the Joaquin Phoenix Joker with Jared Leto's the worst. You Joker. haven't seen the trailer? It just it just I've came out like trailer, a couple days. Trailer, but we haven't seen yeah. the movie, obviously. So. Um, <laughs> no one's ever going to be able to probably to unseat Heath Ledger as the Joker because yeah. that, that was, was that was next level. Probably yeah, next level. it was creepy. I didn't mind Jared Leto as because he went he went all punk. You know, he had like he had the grill. He had like crazy tattoos all over. You know, it wasn't he was just the like one in a purple from, suit. What's that? Suicide King. Yeah, oh, Suicide, okay. Squad. Suicide Squad. Suicide when he did that. Um, Jared Leto was a good actor. He was he's a, a he's such a good dream. actor. Yeah, he was in Requiem for a Dream, Jennifer. But, but what he did in Dallas Buyers Club, off. I mean, he lost a tremendous amount of weight as, as someone who was suffering from HIV. Um, someone who was was he specifically tra- was was yeah, he, he transgender? transgender? He was transgender. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, strong performance, considering the guy that he was paired with to play also won the Academy Award for Best Actor. Yeah, McC- Matthew McConaughey was great in that movie. That was um, a great. That was the year of McConaughey. Yeah. He had a. True Detective, Dallas Buyers Club. He had a good year. What about Beyonce? She's not exactly crushed it. I mean, she's she gets a lot of praise because like, she is Beyonce. I honestly don't like her acting. I don't think it's that great. What's the movie she's in with Cuba Gooding Jr.? She plays the wife. The Preacher's Wife? Preacher something? Oh, yeah. Well, anyway, the movie's um, trash. <laughs> she's in that movie Obsessed. I believe her very first film role. I mean, it's They're a, Obsessed was the movie. It was an MTV I movie, so it was straight to cable. More of, because of Ali Larder. She, she did the hip opera with um, uh, Mackay Pfeiffer, which was, a, which was a, a take on Carmen. Dun, 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 I've yeah. never heard yeah, of that. It was, it, was, it was good. She was good. And then she did, um, she was Foxy Cleopatra. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. In um, uh, the Austin, Austin Powers. Powers, Austin Powers two, I believe. 
three. Okay. I like that. That was Sinatra was also an actor. Yeah. And and no one can dispute how good Frank Sinatra was at music. Yeah. Do you have anyone, Uncle Kid? Anybody else? The girl was Elvis. <laughs> nah. It was not a good actor. But Elvis? Elvis? Had a lot of it was a so lot of You don't think Elvis was a good actor? I don't think it was a good actor. Wow. He was just playing Elvis. I don't think I've ever seen I mean, a movie without Elvis. You know, he just played Elvis, man. He with had that movie when he was in Hawaii. Yeah. Hey there, little lady. Blue Hawaii, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Blue Hawaii. But he, he, he just had that presence that you would want to go and watch his movies, but he was just a non methodical actor. Yeah. He would just say, hey, go over there and sing. And he was just looks. Hey. Yeah, that's about Thank it. you very much. I'll take a peanut butter and jelly with that. Well, Thank you. Have we, have we missed any, any big stars that we have not touched on? Mm. I feel like we got a lot of the good ones. <laughs> Tupac, hello. Okay. Tupac Shakur was in Juice. Juice, gridlock. Oh, I mm. forgot about that one. I was, then, I was thinking uh, of Poetic Justice. Poetic Justice. Poetic Justice, he was great in that. Janet. Yeah. So. He played opposite. He, he was Janet Jackson's love interest. Yeah, yeah. yeah, but it would be known more as the rapper. Because yeah, I mean, obviously. Was things. Michael was Jackson in any movies? Uh, he was in a couple, but I can't remember the names of them. And obviously, um, I think Michael's a good there, actor. Well, Mike, well, I mean, Michael. <laughs> depending on who you talk to, I guess Michael is a pretty good actor. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you just watch Inside Ouch. Neverland. No, he wasn't. The yeah, past couple of days, uh, leaving them. Alone. I mean, then you've got you've got guys like Snoop, you know, who's who's been in a few movies. Actually, you know, I like Snoop Dogg. He's so chill. <laughs> I love him. He was he was great in Soul Plane. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> Me- <laughs> Method Man. Oh, Method Man, yeah. Met- and Method Method Man has done a few really funny movies. He did How High. He did Soul Plane. Yeah, How what High. Has he done in, like, I don't, yeah. What is he Bong done? Bong No, I said, have oh. you done any serious movies? Um, he was on, well, not a movie, but he was on Seriously? he was on Oz, the prison drama. Oh, really? uh, yeah, then he, he was pretty good in that. I mean, mm. all right. I so think our list is I, done. I, mean, I think we yeah. pretty much exhausted a lot of the popular possibilities of uh, musicians who became actors and actresses. I'm gonna say my favorite is uh, the my favorite uh, crossover has been like Mark Wahlberg and. Um, Oh yeah, who's your favorite of all the ones we went over? I'm gonna say Mark Wahlberg. I'm just gonna go with Mark. Wahlberg. Oh, you had most, you had most deaf. We didn't do that. Most deaf, most deaf, supremely talented at oh, anything Common. he does. How about Common? Huh? He's in a lot of uh, <coughs> movies. Yeah, Common's been in some stuff. The guy with the Mar- and with Mary Elizabeth. Most Wednesday. deaf was in a film for straight, uh, st- strictly for HBO, or exclusively, I should say, to HBO called Something the Lord Made with the late Alan Rickman mm-hmm. about the the country's first. They they actually <coughs> pioneered. Um, What's now known as um, cardiovascular surgery? They found a way to actually operate on the oh, heart. Oh, wow, that's interesting. Yeah, without if you guys have not seen that, it is an amazing film, and most stuff is really, really good. Cool. And it's it's taken at a time when you know um, uh, civil rights, and you know no one took him seriously because he was not a college graduate, and yet he had these steady hands, and he was teaching the much more accomplished um, surgeon. You know this technique when you can do stuff, and you know it's uh, oh, it's a really good film. You guys should check that out. Something the Lord made. Be interesting. Yeah. Um, so we're gonna wrap up. Oh, the so who's your favorite? Uh, no, mine's Mark, Mark Wahlberg. I don't know. <laughs> okay, well I'll, I'll say my. <laughs> I have no idea. Who Ma- my Madonna. Favorite is. Madonna. 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 Man. A star. I, I, I thought we were just talking trash to about like. Me off, man. like <laughs> Madonna, dude, come on, man. Madonna is not like. Do you really think she's like one of the best actresses or musicians turned actresses? Yes. Yes. <laughs> she was even good in her music videos, which are mini films. If you think about it, you, you yo, seen then video? all you of them seen are. Music video for Papa Don't Preach. Come on, she was good in that. She sold it. Lady Gaga is a better performer, I think. What? <laughs> Man. Mother, you guys know what I'm talking about. These two, these breathe. two do I gotta not. Breathe. Oh, so what, what, what are you? Uh, wow, man, Madonna. Wow, man. Wait, wh- okay, why not? Because L- uh, let me literally flip the script. Oh, oh, oh! Sorry, Uncle Ken's walking out here. Sorry. You guys get to finally see him. There's Uncle Ken, guys. <laughs> What a rare sighting of uh, Uncle Ken. Hey. Oh, dang, sorry. In his natural habitat. You don't habitat. You don't really get to see uh, Uncle Ken there. 
Well, yeah, no, Madonna. Okay, okay why yeah. not Madonna? Sure, 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 Jace. We're gonna give you Madonna. No, no, but why not? I'm, I'm still, I'm puzzled by this. Oh, uh, because her movies are trash. That's number one. Number what two. What was her best film? The Vita, probably. A League of Their Own. Maybe. A League of Their Own. But you know where she played like six lead to Shanghai Surprise. That movie where she put the stuff in the other girl's bag and she walked out the shopping mall and shot no, that movie. was who's that girl? <laughs> Body of evidence. Body of evidence. Ooh. For other reasons. Um, Madonna's a star. Yeah. Okay. She's she's a named after the mother of God. I mean, you know. Ash. Okay. <laughs> We're just cutting that short, guys. I don't even want to wow, listen to that. Man, okay. You know, I know you guys. Uh, are I know I'm not alone Madonna. here. Madonna's fantastic. Okay, and even that whole Madonna and Cher thing. And we would love to hear how you guys feel about that. I like Cher way more than Madonna. That's for sure. In her movie roles. <laughs> Do I really have to pick one? I don't know who my favorite is. That's why. You don't have to. Okay, then. I'm right. not going to pick okay, one. Uh, no, you cannot recuse yourself. You can <laughs> stand by your picks. <laughs> stand by your picks. I guess I would say Tammy Wynette. Jared Leto. Okay, Tammy Wynette. Maybe a actor. So, you know, Jared Leto is an okay pick because he's got Because And wars, he's a freaking you know? bad actor. A badass yeah. actor. Okay, so okay, in, in, in terms of like effectiveness in both industries, that's a that's a really good one. Well, of course, you know Madonna has way more weight than that. Mm-hmm. If we were doing that, I would like definitely say, okay, yeah. Madonna's she's going to be up there. Right? She's got a storied career as a musician, so yeah, that would be difficult. It'd be difficult to pick because you know some names that we think are pretty good, like Will Smith and Mark Wahlberg, obviously. When and I'm you sure look at we're the total missing some. Of work, okay, like, so maybe I think so. We all agree that Wilson. Going back to that, Will Smith. I think Mandy Moore would be up there. Like, oh no, actually, no, never not. Maybe not Mandy Moore because what, what songs does she do? I'm missing I you like candy. With you. <laughs> yeah, right. I, the candy. Song. The fact that the two dudes in this <laughs> podcast like can recall Mandy Moore songs faster than you know. The, wait, you're the same. Mandy, Mandy Moore wasn't. No, what the hell? How about J Lo? Are you serious? You saying she, she's older than you? She's, she's older way than older than me. My how old is Mandy Moore? Thirty four. Thirty. Mandy Moore is not thirty. She's probably older than thirty four. Oh no no no! She's probably like thirty two. How old is Mandy Moore? Oh my God, Jason, you don't need the answer to everything. She's exactly thirty four years old. Wow. <laughs> Older than me. Okay. Okay. So anyway. Wait, anyway. Wait, I'm sorry. So we agree done. that Will Smith is better than Bruce Willis. No. But is Will Smith better? No, than, no. We said that Mark Wahlberg. Smith, we said that Will Smith is has more range ra- than yeah. Bruce Willis, but yeah. that he was not a more, more of a bona fide star than Bruce Willis, which I could see that's very arguable. That's very subjective. So. I like Bruce Willis. Bruce Willis made like, some <laughs> bangers, man. He did. Tears of the Star. That's my homeboy. He still does. Die Hard 1 through 34. <laughs> like, shoot. Six cents. What did Will Smith do? Okay, and, and now you're sure it's... What is that one with his uh, son? Ollie. Pursuit of Happiness. <laughs> no, the one with his... I Am Legend. Other Earth. Oh, no, no. Other Earth, is it called? No. Which was a flop. After Earth. After Earth. Gosh, dude, that was crazy. Which was forgettable. Kind of like forgetting, you know, Ice Cube and Ice-T would be... Anyways, guys, thank you for listening to our episode today of Real Talk. Um, But remember, you can still win tickets to the premiere of Avengers on April 26th. All you have to do is answer our six degrees of Kevin Bacon question. And today's question is link Jason Clark from Pet Cemetery to Kevin Bacon. Mm. And Jason Clark is in a bunch of movies, so you'll be able to do that. We already have winners, uh, Tristan Allen and Tennis Ritchie. Tennis Richie is a very interesting name. I like nice. it. We will be emailing you guys uh, so you can get access to this and the sport of teams. Your, tennis. Get your, uh, uh, get your tickets get your and tickets. watch the movie with also, us. Also, remember Pia Mia's movie that she's uh, called After comes out this weekend. Jason and will we be the first in line. Mm-hmm. So all you have to do, My cousin, all you have to do is comment in the comments on our Facebook video and just put in a, vid- a link to any Pia Mia song that you like. And we will be passing out a bunch of tickets. So, mm-hmm. you know, easy. Easy free movies, guys. So, check that out. We should go watch that Doom movie review. Yeah, maybe watch the PM movie. Shoot. Maybe. I'll think about that. Once again, shout out to our sponsor, Tang- Tango Theaters, um, where you can catch all those films this weekend. And we will see you next time. Happy movie. Happy movie. Happy movie.